Today, getting ready to pedal across the Atlantic. We'll show you the eye-opening sea trials for a kayak and its owner, getting ready for the journey of a lifetime. First, here's Mark Miller with this week's installment of Built in Your Backyard, about one man's dream of building a kayak he can use to pedal across the Atlantic Ocean. Who invents something like that? That's just crazy. The west coast of Vancouver Island. Its giant waves draw surfers with courage and a kid from the prairies with a dream. It is really, really, it's a neat challenge. It's a cool adventure. Greg Kolachesik is no babe in the woods. He's an accomplished Ironman athlete. I'm intrigued by uh, the challenge. And a guy looking for his next adventure. The goal is to explore, you know, what the limits of uh, human power really is. What we can do when we combine uh, endurance training with uh, innovation. This is it. Really, really strong. Greg hopes this will carry him into the record books. Plus two layers of Kevlar. A fully enclosed kayak that he's planning to run across the Atlantic. Break the rowing record of 43 days. He's come to the West Coast from Calgary for his first saltwater tests. Because I wanted to get the boat out into some open ocean conditions, some more advanced conditions. Greg's boat is powered by a small prop attached to pedals inside. He's done some tests in Calgary on a small lake. Yeah! Hey! We've rolled, we've done capsize tests with it. Yeah, we've done lots of those. But today, it will be his first trip into anything serious. This knife, if I had to, I can punch right through the, uh, through the window here. A lot of guys accuse me of not knowing what I'm getting into, and I say, exactly, that's the point. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but I'm going to learn. I'm going to take the time. I'm going to take the training that I need. I'm going to gain the experience that I need, and that's one of the reasons that we're out here. And his timing couldn't be better. A series of winter storms have whipped up the ocean, and within a few minutes of leaving shore, Greg is getting pounded. When I opened the hatch and stuck my head out, I was actually surprised that um, the waves were as big as they were because they didn't feel that bad from being inside here. Greg's biggest problem right now is he can't see. His slanted windscreen was designed aerodynamically, but as ocean waves splash against his kayak, the waves are puddling on it. And then to make it worse on the inside, condensation was building up and it was sticking to the glass on the inside. Greg is forced to rely on his video camera to determine where he's going. It was very much like a video game, just sort of like, but except getting tossed around while you were trying to do it. Even after just a few minutes, it's clear there will need to be some significant design changes. That window is no good. I need to have something that's flatter. Lots of rocking around, um, but actually it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Greg quickly decides to pull the plug on his coastal testing. Visibility wasn't the only issue. I need a little more room in here. There's just not enough room to live inside this uh, tiny cockpit and tiny sleeping area in the back. I need a more room. All right, so lift it up. How are we doing with the prop? Can somebody sort of watch that? Despite the setback, Greg still thinks this trip is a success. Overall, his boat has handled well when it hasn't been pounded by waves and he didn't get seasick. We will start work on the, start, get back to the design, the drafting table, and uh, start work incorporating some of the changes that we want to make. Greg hopes his expedition boat will be about three meters longer than this. It should have better ventilation and he says it must have better visibility. Put a flat window down, even possibly a window that's slanted this way and maybe, maybe pointed so that it's still a little bit aerodynamic. Okay, you wanna try a couple other ones? His weekend hasn't quite gone as planned, but it isn't corroding his desire to make the trip. I think that, yes, I think that I can do it. I'm certainly further toward that than I was before we came out here, that's for sure. He says he's eager to make changes to his design and get back on the ocean as soon as possible. Next December, tentatively. Tentatively, for sure.